Now it's messing them up again. Really full of metal. Good, Mike. There, I can load up some of this scrap here. That's a heck of a lot of Cat 5 wire. I'm gonna set that there. That's all this stuff. Oh, I guess it is in a whole bunch of hard drives. And a whole bunch of junk. <laughs> Spider-Man action figure. Well, that can go anyway. There's tosser on there. And the vacuum hoses. Oh, look! Wonderful tubes from LCD TVs. Well, look, I did. At least I did something good. I taped them up. I probably should have just left them there. Try and remember about them. They can go back to the. The dump there. This. And just a long bolt. Set that there. I got like some old tools here. Actually, I think my anti carry gear. That could have been where this come from too. Uh, she just gave me stuff she digs out of her flower beds in her garden whenever she's putting stuff in. So. Who knows how old these were? She said she dug them out of the ground, building a new flower bed. <laughs> a rubber made tub lid. Just toss it there. I should plug this thing in and see if it works before I scrap it down or whatever. Probably has a little electric motor in it, I would imagine. Hopefully it would be a copper one. That would be good, that would be good. Probably wind up losing half of this stuff on the way back over there. That's okay. <laughs> Got this magnetron. We'll set him up there, right there, so he's nice and safe. Steel balls. <laughs> Those tubs sometimes they work good for a catch them all, but I wind up I get so many of them, probably just crush it down for shred. Every time I go to the dump, there's there's always tins and stuff like that. What's this? Oh, Christmas light bulb. Oh, back from my drinking days. Oh, that stuff's been in there for well over a year. <laughs> money, money, money. I'm going to set that here. With the rest of my now pop cans. Those are not my beer cans. I dug those out from underneath the camper probably still from when I was drinking. But we're successfully still my drinking scrap pounds. 
Yes, love it. Well, I get a bit of things tidied up around here anyway for now. Check and see if there's anything in this old cooler. Is there anything in there? Let me know, I can't really see. It's pretty tight. That is kind of neat. Little Corona cooler. McDent in it though. Bottle cap opener. But, uh, yeah, some more junk in there. Great big clevis. <laughs> Put that on the back of the truck. Yeah, well, I'll take this over to the scrap shack. So we'll see you over there. And uh, maybe come back over. Oh, we can probably put this box. So oh, maybe not. That's going to that box is pretty much deteriorated. We'll have to come back for that guy. All right, all right, all right. Hey, right, we'll see you at the scrap shack. Putter's going. Boom, and it didn't even lose anything. That's got to be like a first. It actually all stayed on the wheelie barrow. Yeah. We'll set that magnetron over somewhere safe. Whoa, it's back on the Actually, some of this I think I'm just going to leave right like just in here for now. What I'll do is just wheel it up over here. Because we got some more to bring over. But I got this other little yard cart so it's gonna work probably to throw the rest of the stuff in that I gotta bring over here we love it scrap pounds we love it yeah got that stuff brought over here actually went over there and then realized I didn't have the camera with me so I just loaded it up quick but yeah I just some this is and that's and some odds and ends tiny little stool <laughs> Yeah, just some junk to go through and whatnot. And then some, you know, just some mixed scrap stuff, some steel. So, found this uh, nice pry bar, crowbar. So that'll be handy. I'm going to just stick that here. Oh, check this out. Check this out. A little off topic, but uh, on the weekend, my mom and I, we went to a uh, thrift store. And I've seen this there. It's uh, copper and brass. I actually took a magnet with me and I tested it out. And then I found this sitting on another shelf. It's actually, it's not for it, but it does kind of fit in it sort of thing. But uh, they threw that in. That's all brass. But yeah, so it's been my little catch-it-all bucket. Uh, I had a bunch of stuff in there just tearing things down there the other day. I was clearing up some stuff on the table. Yeah, so that that was pretty cool. A nice copper heater thing. <laughs> cool stuff, cool stuff. Uh, where was I? Where was I? Guys, I love it. The uh, first hour, uh, my last video sitting at number one with 19 views. And uh, 591 subscribers. Thank you, Scrap Hounds. I love you guys. Much love, much love. Let's go, let's go. You guys fire me up every day. Cheers. What kind of goodness can we get up to now? We were going to go and load the truck. But unfortunately, my day is getting a little bit late. It's going to be dark here soon. Uh, I might just tinker around back here. And then continue with loading the truck in the morning. But uh, that will give me some time to pick through some of that stuff. And uh, put it where it needs to go inside the scrap shack. And uh, clean this area up here. And kind of <clears throat> just this time of the year you never know if it's going to snow. So I like to make sure that I can close the, the door on the scrap shack. And uh, whatnot. It's been really windy at nights too so... That way the wind isn't getting in there and flapping around so much too. I think that might be maybe partly why the top wore out. I don't know. 
Uh, anyway, I almost need a scrap fire Christmas Carol channel videos coming next month, maybe. <laughs> to scrap or not to scrap? That is the question. How's it going, my scrappy friends? Just been digging through what's left of my pile here. Organizing uh, heavy steel from non-heavy steel. Got uh, some auto parts and different stuff here just thrown in this dryer tub. Whatnot, kind of separating it up. And uh, whatnot, yeah. And this stuff here, I had to hit it with the magnet. I think this is aluminum, but I'm not sure. And uh, same as these, we're off this uh, big old radiator that I picked up. I'm not even sure what it may have been out of, but it's a big chunky one anyhow. And I dug all these uh, welding rods out. That was pretty good weight and welding rods there. So I'll just when I go into the scrapyard uh, next week, I'll just have those in the cab so I can ask them kind of where they'd go. I'm guessing just shred, but I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, just some stuff there. Uh, I don't know, maybe some of that's aluminum. Those poles, obviously not. But uh, yeah, gonna try to work through, uh, strip these stoves and washers and dryers and stuff down. Uh, not completely scrapped, but more just getting the, the steel down. Shred pays more than appliances do. And I got all these chairs kicking here. I'm gonna bust the seats off of them and whatnot and uh, cut them down or smash them down, whichever, get them loaded up, and all these bed frames. I was gonna keep some of the bed frames and stuff for welding projects, but eh, scrappers, we get lots of that junk. Uh, same as my brake rotors that I had for, that I've been saving up, like I use them for uh, coal forge. I'm just gonna send them, because I mean, every so often, uh, you know, I come across some bunch of brake rotors, and uh, Anyway, yeah, so I got these jar lids here too as well. Uh, I mean, they're rusty, but I thought they may have been a zinc coated, but uh, I'm probably just going to squish them down, throw them into shred. Can't see that they're any good being as rusty as they are. I mean, there might be like these odd ones that don't have any rust. They probably are zinc coated, but uh, anyway, I'll just set it off to the side and <clears throat> yeah. But definitely I'll just pull the ones out that are definitely, like you can see how some of these are really rusted, right? So I'll pull those ones out and uh, separate them from the ones that aren't so rusty. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> and I believe this is a cast, so it'll be set separate. It's an old tree stand, but it's got those metal screws in there. They're kind of rusted in there. Uh, I was gonna see if I could maybe get them out but uh, not too sure. And then great big weights there, 50 pounds a piece. So that'll be great for weight. Yeah, won't be as big a load as the last one, but uh, definitely get this area cleaned up. Got a freshly emptied, swept out clean box on Lucy. Good stuff, good stuff. So yeah, I'm probably gonna light a fire here. Something to keep myself toasty, warm while I do this. We're about zero degrees Celsius here today. I think they say it's supposed to warm up to about four, maybe five <clears throat> above, but anyhow, lots to do and not a lot of daylight. <laughs> let's go, let's go. And back here by the scrap shack, uh, I was pulling out some more stuff that uh, just kicking around that I didn't get loaded up on that last load as well. That's basically processed sort of thing. There's uh, some fan stands. I'm just going to take the plastic off so I don't get uh, docked on a dirty load. Some coat hangers. See, so yeah, I'll just be kind of pick through this stuff, see what's um, that I didn't grab the last time that the magnet sticks to. And get that thrown up in the truck. I mean, there's lots to go through, but I'm not going to have, you know, all of it done at once. That's the beneficials of a scrap account. <laughs>
Heck yeah, love it. Lots of stuff everywhere. And uh, the, there is a uh, out front there by the metal pile. There's a couple lawnmowers. I'll probably just take the saws all and whack the handles off. But uh, I got a bunch more here that don't work. So, you know, I uh, may just wheel them here into the back and then just save them. That way I can scrap the motors, tear the motors off of them. Uh, kind of as I go, maybe make for an interesting video. Uh, I do got a bunch of these spare tires kicking around, but I think some of them are for my vehicles. I'm not too sure. I got to check bolt patterns and sizes before I start uh, cutting into tires. I know that one sitting over there is definitely the spare out of my truck. It needs to go back in there. I've been running with scissors. Wide open, no spare. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get at uh, throwing some stuff in into the truck. Uh, and uh, possibly make uh, another video of it. Maybe a part two to this. Have a couple parts, I'm not too sure. If you like this one, hit that thumbs up button. Drop me a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, it's your first time watching, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, jingle that bell. Because there's a scrap run coming. Cheers.